Hello everybody, welcome back to Jonathan Tries Exotic Fruits. Today we have the yellow dragon fruit. And yes, we've already cut a pink dragon fruit, but um, that's not the best for a fruit salad because you don't want to find huge coins in your fruit salad. So we're gonna chop them into cubes today and let me show you a good way to do that. Now I also heard yellow dragon fruit is sweeter and oh wow, the seeds are actually quite bigger too. But we're just gonna cut off those to um, pieces of flesh on the sides, and we'll have these, and we'll have the middle. Um, let's start with these, and now just like a mango, you can cross hatch these, and you can just do that, and then when you pop it inside out, you should have just like that, and with a fork, you can take these out with a knife, you can too. But let's try some. Hmm. I was expecting it. It's more similar like a pink dragon fruit. It really doesn't. The seeds add like a, it's crunchy and it's quite sweet. But still, like the pink dragon fruit, um, you don't get much of a distinctive taste from it. But yes, the, the texture still does remind you of a kiwi with all these little seeds in there. Like, the seeds of a dragon fruit are small, but you wouldn't expect them to be this big. Be big, aren't they? For a dragon fruit. Well, what to do with the middle before we sign off is you can just take your knife and like kind of like just turn the dragon fruit. Don't like turn the knife like this because then you have to get all in your face. But just turn the, the fruit, the piece of fruit, and you should come up with this. And actually, if you finish one, you can make like a little bowl to serve it in like that. But um, you should have uh, this and you can just cut it into cubes, unless you want to cut it into like some different shape. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye. My mom likes this, so I'll save it. Good though. Are you filming it?